The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industries down 27, Nasdaq up 17, S&P's up 2, gold up a buck 40, trading at 14.66 an ounce. You got silver up six cents, sixteen dollars sixty-six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down twenty-five cents, fifty-eight dollars ninety-four cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year up four ticks, one twenty-nine oh one. Thirty-year up thirteen at one fifty-eight oh one. Copper. We well, don't do copper all the time, but copper folks went up seven cents on Friday. You get two and a half cents today. You're at two seventy-five. That copper market uh, moving higher with conviction. Two eighties on the on the move, which. Says quite a bit about China, actually. So we'll see where that shakes out. King dollar. King dollar down 96 ticks, trading 97,605. Euro is at 110. Yen is at 108 and a half. And the pound is at 131 to 1 US dollar. As we uh, come into the, uh, the NASDAQ strong, I mean, the NASDAQ uh, did a quite a pop here at yep. the open, right? Yes, it did. S&P got a little pop as well. Dow more muted. Dow the only index currently still in the red by 24 points. Yeah, look at this this pop. It's, you know, when we're not at highs, but the bottom line is that uh, that's, that's was well, that, forty was, points was off the low. Right, right? Yes, it was right at the open. Right at the there. open. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So and a solid forty points. That's almost a half a percent off the lows. Yeah. Um, and inside the NDX, uh, the strength versus the weakness. You get SWKS. That's a Apple supplier. That's up three point two percent. Mercado Libre is up two percent. You get uh, Kraft Heinz up 1.58, taken away from it. Ultra is down 2.7. You have uh, Western Digital off 2.7. Take Two is down 1.9. But evidently, we get more positive ones than negative ones. You can't tell by the top one there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The um, British elections. So let's, let's look at the pound. Uh, yeah. British elections this week, folks. Uh, the pound broke topside last week. And, you know, you, you get a, that was a sweet move. Um, Definitely. You know, you, you had the consolidation, top of the consolidation is 130. Broke top side, 131.20. Right now you're at 131.40. And this looks like, I believe it's 135 that I'm looking for here. That's the next swing up there. Okay. Now 133. Okay, 133. You break 133 and it's going to be real action, you know. Definitely. Now the euro hasn't moved yet, you know, so... In order for that dollar to basically get lower, you know, with some conviction, you'd need the euro to move. And the euro is just kind of laying there. You know, we're up, you know, we're at 110. Yeah. Um, we'll see that baby sh going to shake out. Some of the higher volume equities out here, and we'll see whether they get any volume out here today. Uh, in this marketplace, you got uh, PG&E. Let's have a buck fifty-five. Yes. You get the top one. Look at that. That's a biotech that's getting bought out, right? Yeah, hundred percent. So Merck's buying them. Why don't we pull it up? Because look at that. Yeah, hundred percent. That's, that's what why I heard people the... buy buy biotechs. So uh, a definitive agreement to buy is it Arcul maybe for twenty dollars per share. So it's right up to almost that level equity value of deal two point four, and um, about a hundred percent premium the price of that. That's pretty intense. Let's, yeah. Let's see. Up, oh, wrong one. Let's just say I'll go back to that. Oh no, I gotta go. You back. might get it there anyway. Up, oh, no, gotta, go ahead. Yeah, okay. I gotta go back to this one. Okay, so that's that's. It is, that's, and I think it had to do with oncology. That was. Um, uh, you could you could just click on the article if that's where is that where you're yeah, going or no? No, I want to see that. I want to just see if they get any revenue. A R Q L. Okay. You can just go to the description, right? If you want to see the yeah. revenue. Okay, so and you see the jump there from under ten bucks oh, to yeah. nineteen six twenty five. Never traded there. And thirty six employees, Woburn Mass. Wow. Yeah, so it's all expected to start happening yeah. Q four this year, right? You know that whole Boston area that that is a biotech. Can I just before you house. jump away? It's yeah. interesting, and I wonder how this went. I mean, they had twenty five and thirteen million in twenty eighteen, and then. It all dried up. Three million. Q two, Q three. So I wonder how that played in. But yeah. 
But yeah, two point four billion. <sighs> biotech monster, huh? Yes. Wow. That is a wow. No two ways about it. And uh, hey, you know we see them getting cut in half, but guess what? You know, you get a few of those biotechs. Yeah. People do that invest in biotechs. You know Yesterday I mean? it was valued at like 1.2 billion. Today it's valued at 2.4. Wow. Yeah. The uh, we get into the uh, dollar. The dollar right now, folks. You know, it looks to me like it's trying to get to the lower end of consolidation. And um, you know, Friday bottom line is that you know you pop top side. We're kind of laying. You know. Yeah. We're definitely. not that far away from this. 97, no. 107. Yeah. And we're at 97,616. I mean, you could definitely call it near the bottom of the range, right? All these lows, yes. they almost jump back right. to here as well. Right. Um, yeah, 97, critical value as well. You get under there, you know, maybe you're flirting with what is the low back here, oh, yeah. 95,8. And then, yeah, if I share something, watch this, folks. Okay, now, the trend has not changed yet, the long-term trend. But you're going to say it's in February of 2018, we've been going higher. Yeah. Yeah, there, definitely. You know, February 2018, we were at uh, 88, and you can see, you know, the bottom line is we've been going sideways now for a couple months. But yes. The bottom line is no, that you take it, it back it, there for sure. Know, yeah, it, we'll see if that if we're going to get a change of trend. And where I'm going with that is that the pound definitely changed trend. The euro hasn't yet. The, you know, the euro is still basically a laggard, and you know, the euro is 60 percent of the. Dollar. Yes. When we're talking about the dollar index. Definitely. So, you know. Yeah. So let's see. We have today's the ninth. So we get the ninth to the fourteenth. I mean, <laughs> this is we're gonna be in Christmas trading before we know it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, what are we right now? Sixteen days out. It's two weeks from Wednesday is Christmas. So get shopping online if you haven't done it yet. Get shopping online. No, or visit yeah. those stores. But yeah. Amazon. I mean, it's always intriguing, right? I think they'll probably try and run delivery right up to the 22nd, 23rd, oh, yeah. probably even some, maybe some same day Christmas Eve delivery. That, there's no doubt. Yeah. Let's go look at the copper market. So the copper market, folks, you know, took off in spades. Uh, this is going to get pretty intriguing because copper loves to trend. And, you know, Friday, it, it had a heck of a day. I mean, it, it's, you know. It's, yes. You know, we went, we went topside, took out the uh, 273. Definitely. You know, had some good juice underneath it. If I do HG1, let me just do it. So we can do a continuous contract just to see where we're at. Okay, so bring this back a couple years. Okay, so it hasn't broken out yet. Yeah. So, you know, we you bring that back. We're talking, yeah, the 279. So look, at this has been down here since July of uh, 2018. Yes. You know. Yep. That's, that's a long time, man. But it, it, it's, it's, it's encouraging if you're, you know, basically, you know, looking for economies and looking for China to move again. This is all about China, you know. And what we don't know, the way that China deals is that China stockpiles huge amounts of copper then they stop buying then they start buying again okay. you know what i mean so the real the, the question is is that you know they they basically rule that but with copper's going higher then you know that is good for the world not yeah. just you know not Econ just economic growth everything yeah. yeah stay right there folks tommy and i are coming right back our phone number is 877-927-6648 dow's down 20 nasdaq up 17 s&p's up two and a half come right back If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today.
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 12. Nasdaq's up 19. S&Ps are up 3.5. And, and, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you are going to see not only uh, Tom's market report, which he does every morning now. A great report comes out in the morning, comes out in the afternoon, gives you a whole rundown of, uh, in the morning, of course, what may have happened overnight. And what we're looking for in the afternoon a recap of uh, what, what has happened uh, inside the marketplace. Definitely. Yeah. And what else do we have on there? We get Tiger Dollars. That's right. The so, Tiger Dollar sale is up today, folks, uh, and you get two weeks to get some bonuses out here. That's right. We'll run it through Sunday, December 22nd. You can get up to a 40% bonus. Normally, Tiger Dollars, you can either get a 10, 15, or 20% bonus, depending on if you spend 500, 1,000, or 1,500. For the two weeks only, up to a 40%. So there'll be a 20% bonus on spend 500. You receive an extra 100, you get 600. If you want a 30%, you, of course, can spend 1000 receive 1300 Tiger Dollars, a 30% bonus. Or you spend 1500 you receive 2100 Tiger Dollars, a 600 Tiger Dollar bonus. So 20 30 40%, doubling the bonuses. That will run through Sunday, December 22nd. And if you're a current subscriber out there, subscribe to any newsletters, services, great way to add savings. And the oh. new website, I say new, it's been over a year now. But you apply those Tiger Dollars right to their account automatically. So if you're a current subscriber out there, you just apply them. And uh, all future transactions get automatically debited. And they never expire. So it's a great deal. And if you're going to sign up in 2020, uh, great time to get some Tiger Dollars ahead of that for sure. Big time. Yeah. So let's go over, uh, you know, canopy growth, folks. Bottom line is that the Constellation brands didn't have to buy any more shares. They actually got their uh ce their cfo yes and as the ceo of canopy they sure did uh so let's take and the a market likes that this morning yes and so let's see what they have to say here so okay so canopy growth the world's most valuable cannabis company uh has appointed constellation brands financial head as its chief executive officer and one analyst uh, believes that the odds of Constellation buying Canopy outright are above 66%. The intriguing thing about this in general, you know, the analyst is saying that Constellation brands had come out two weeks ago saying specifically they are not buying any more shares. And I thought that was really strange because yes. they're at lows. And it's like, you're not buying any more shares, yeah. okay? Well, I think they figured out a better way of doing it. Sure. <laughs> they got their guy in yeah. because the CFO 
you know, I, I can almost you, you can make the claim sometimes. They, some of those CFOs are more important than the CEO. Oh, so important. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, you know. Yes. Um, you know, so we'll see where this uh, shakes out. So yeah. It, what's his name? Klein? Is it? Uh, yes, it is Klein. David Klein. David Klein. Okay, so, so let's see what he's having to say. Canopy growth sits at the forefront of one of the most exciting new market opportunities in our lifetime. Klein said in a statement, I look forward to working with the team to build on the foundation that has been laid to develop brands that strongly resonate with consumers and to capture the market opportunity for us. I think the brand, the brand thing is going to be a big deal, man. I yes. Think, I, think this, I, think, I think the pot market is going to turn just like into the booze market. That you know, everyone could make booze, right? Everyone can make pot. The question is, what do you make? Yeah. What's, what's the brand? Yes. Why, does, why do we pay more for a certain brand Definitely. than another brand, right? You know, you, you think about uh, whether it's whiskey, whether it's Grey Goose Vodka, right? Yeah. Whether it's uh, right. any type of uh, good tequila or something like that. Right. You just create a brand that goes behind it, a lifestyle, et cetera. Yeah. I'm sure that's going to play into that market and, as and, well. And what would you have now, folks? That is not the way that the business is set up right now. The business is set up that... The, whether it's medical or recreational, you have all different kinds, but they're almost all the same price. Okay. You know, like when you're going into those, yes. you know, so it's the, whether it's uh, they're selling them by the eight, so whatever they're selling them by, yeah. you know, they, so that, it just makes sense that that's going to change. Yes. You know? I would agree, for sure. And those shares up like eight, nine, ten percent today. Yeah. And uh, they, they, they own, what is it? What is STZ. Yeah. Constellation, is that? No. They own how much of it? STZ. Well, they, oh, 40, I think it's 44% of it right now. Um, if we look at Constellation Brands, that's trading 182. Let's just see what they take in. Because this is, this is, you talk the about. The boost is, is, is A-OK -okay, to the tune of a $35 billion market cap. Yeah, you talk about a strong company behind yes, you, right? Right. 8.1 billion they take yeah. in a year. You know. 5.2 in beer, 2.9 in wine and spirits. Yeah. And then they're going to start seeing that. Uh, and huge earnings, too, in terms of if they have to spend some of that earnings to make sure they're cemented as that yeah. cannabis leader. There it is. And I think that's what they're trying to do. Yes. No, I, I definitely. They, they realize they have some free cash flow of the booze business, and why not uh, we call it a, a hedge, even if it doesn't, but um, it's, the, it's the vice business of you yeah. know, alcohol, oh. cannabis, the whole deal. And recreation. Brand new. Yes. You know, I mean, and. I think when you're in that business, they understand branding. They understand the, you know, the recreational people yes. going out. I mean, because there's so many things that I think they're going to change. They're probably and, selling that lifestyle. I mean, it, so, you right. know, with premium spirits, right. wines, alcohols, right. similar beers. Right. Yep. Yeah. Right up. So if we switch gears a second, go over to the, the gold market, folks. I want to show you something with Franco Nevada. Now, this is really stealth, meaning that we have gold. You know, not even close to highs. But I want to show you something that now Franco Nevada is in a huge way one of the strongest, well, it is the strongest gold stock out there and has been for quite some time. This is the company that is a streamer or a royalty company. They have yes. 26 employees. Yep. Watch this. This is like sick. They take in 816 million this year. They expect 979 million next year. Yep. Okay. And it's. Now, all royalties on the right side All there, exactly. Royalties, okay? So the way it happens with a royalty, folks, is this. They get paid on the gross margin. They, you know, if you're taking $1,000, yeah. they're getting paid a certain percentage. It has yeah. nothing to do with expenses. Right, percentage of gross revenue, yeah. really, of, the, of right. the price of that ounce of gold. Right, and then as you go over the contracts, now this is where it gets really interesting, and this is public information, as you go over the contracts, as gold goes higher, they sometimes get a much higher percentage. Okay. Of the royalty, sure. which, is, which is wild. So watch this. This went to an all-time high last week. Yep. And it didn't hold price, but guess what? It had volume. So that's telling me that we're going to go right back topside. So you had the all-time high was established the week of September 6th, $101.19. You did $2.8 million. Last week, $3.5 million. It beat it by a penny. Yep. That's pretty impressive. In particular... Of where the price of gold is right now. Yes, definitely. Now, that's the bullish part, okay? The bearish part, and, you know, stocks are different, but these equities used to trade together quite a bit, okay, is Royal Gold. So, Royal Gold, if we could just take a look at the numbers on Royal, and nice. we know, you know... Similar, 23 employees. 23 employees. Yep. Take in $521 million. And they just have straight royalties, gold, silver, and base metal. Yeah. Yep. And 
what happened is that one of their mines is, is not performing. Okay. So this did come down, um, you know, and so sure. what happens when you're looking at, at, at both of them, 138 to 114. Yes. It's a bummer because it's divergence. Yes. You know, so when you see divergence, what does happen is that, you know, yeah. guess what? And, you know. Because that equity is like 20% off at high. Right. Off its high. And right. Franco Nevada is only 2% off right. its high in the last it's, four days, right. basically. So if this was up too, I could make the case that gold's going to go higher. Because sure. that's how, now you can't really make that case. Because yep. even though that, that yep. mine's down, the bottom line is that you have divergence, you know. So I like how the dollar's trading, but. I don't like how world gold is trading. Sure. Go buy some, will you? Now I'll think I, about it. I, why don't you be like that guy that bought 4,000 contracts? Yeah. At 4,000. Not bad right now. We'll Stay see. right there. Tommy and I come right back. Dow. Dow's down 30. Nasdaq's up 15. S&P's up 2. We'll come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up. Uh, Dow is down 33. Nasdaq is up 14. S&P's up one and a half. And uh, Tommy and I were just talking, of course, about the Patriots. And, oh my God, what a! It was a great game. I mean, I thought it was a great. I thought it was a great game. And you know, the refereeing was terrible, but it is what it is. They got to win, even if the referee is terrible. Yeah, it's just know? such a big game. I didn't get a chance to watch it. Yeah. I watched a lot of the highlights online, just yeah. through whether it was Twitter or video updates. And my friends, of course, being from Boston. And even friends outside of Boston seem to um, agree that oh. from, you know, I saw a few still shots of 
a player who was not out of bounds, called out of bounds, pass interference going on. Yeah. You had another call as well. And hopefully the NFL does something to repair that because it seems like, you know, especially something like that, two AFC Titan teams. Oh, yeah. they, they were, you know, foes last year. You got Mahomes, you got Brady, you got yeah. the whole teams, you got Belichick, you got Andy Reid. And, um, and that's and what and happened, the as a couple of times he's saying, there was no challenges left. You only had two challenges, yeah. folks. So they, he, he, he had the, they were showing the replay. It was so blatant, but you couldn't challenge it because the, you it's used unfortunate. the challenges up. Yeah, yeah. it's you unfortunate. Know? The ref should be a little bit better and hopefully they are. Because the, the big one that everyone is easy to talk about is the one they called the player out of bounds and he wasn't out of bounds. Right. And referees are taught, you know, it's what every touchdown is reviewed. So if you're even close, right, what you do is you call it a touchdown because yeah. then it's automatically reviewed. Yeah. But if you don't call it a touchdown, then it's not automatically reviewed. So you call it, a, you err on the side if it's close, that you call it a touchdown. And that's why sometimes when they have fumbles or interceptions, right. they'll just let it play out because if it results in a touchdown, then it's automatically reviewed. But if you call it dead, just like you can't review it if you have no challenges. So wow. it's unfortunate. You know, after that, 60 Minutes was on, folks. And... I didn't get a chance. I oh, love the show, this, but what are they yeah, talking oh, about? You, you got to see this, folks, okay? So one part of it was about a Harvard professor um, and DNA and RNA. Okay. Okay. And he has this lab. It's one of the biggest labs in the country. He's one of the first guys that sequenced, you know, the, the DNA period. Okay. It is just phenomenal, man. They, they're showing, okay, they're showing, they're using his own cells. Okay. Okay. You know, and they explained it at the end. He says, well, you listen. He says, I'm the boss. I'm familiar with how this works. I have given consent, so it's not like, you know, you're having someone else that don't, don't understand what's, what's going on. They showed how they're, they're taking this guy's cell, right? And then they turned around, and they're showing how they can make limbs off the cell, right? Okay. But this, this goes in so intense, it's unbelievable. They went from limbs... To brain cells. Oh wow! Off the cell. Okay. Okay, and it's like it's it's just so intriguing, man. I mean, it was, I'm gonna hunt it today because it was only. I will do it. It was only the like same thing. it was only like a 10 minute part. Yeah. But it is like just amazing. They do great works at, at 60 minutes, so I'm oh, not surprised, man. This There's is, some amazing stories. You know, and and this guy, <laughs> what they were showing. So check this out. They, they were showing when he was a kid, and he was at, uh, I believe Yale. And what ended up happening? He was so into. Uh, it was called crystallizing something like when okay. you look at all the atoms, right? Okay. He was so into it, right, that they accepted him to Yale, but then he never went to school because he was researching 100 hours a week. So they kicked him out of Yale. Sure. But Harvard took him immediately. He's been at Harvard for 45 years. Man, because, oh man. The, I mean, it, it... Somebody recognized the genius, of course, I guess, or, or the and, potential or whatever it right. is, right? And, and what it was, and they asked him about it. He says, I just couldn't, like get away from um, the research, so I never yeah. went to school, and then he has narcolepsy. Okay. So he says, what was great about narcolepsy, and still is, he says, so I could sit there and work, fall asleep, wake back up, and what narcolepsy evidently, folks, is that you don't forget your, what you're, you're on, okay. and you just start it again. Wow. I know. And they showed him in the class, they showed him in the class, folks, up at the board, and all of a sudden, he's going down, and he goes down, falls asleep for like, it, it looked like it was only a minute, minute and a half. Yeah. Turns around, just asks the answer to the questions again. It, it's just it, a brief pause. It's the chemistry behind it is like phenomenal. It's exciting I, stuff. I mean, yeah. we're at a we're at a really amazing time in technology oh, in general. You know, it's, I mean, it's to think that we are you know living at a time when the first time you go back two or three generations and you had to send letters via ship and horseback, and now you know. We're yes. doing things like that from yes. 50 to 100 years to breaking down a cell to form uh, brain activity. In, Seriously, in its own man. Limbs. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. So, let's go to shopping. Let's go see what Amazon's doing. Okay. Amazon's going to be the king dog, and bottom line, I can't get out of this consolidation. Yeah, it's still, it's still down there, man. Yeah, you know? what is that recent IM? Just because quite a little nice run up. Uh, what are we looking at? Daily? Okay. Yeah, the 29th November, but you're still, that's 18, 7, 1824. Yeah. Um, and you're up almost 10. So you're talking about $75 in the price of Amazon. Just uh, four or five days, it pulled back where it's near that lower end. And Walmart, Walmart. hanging at highs. Yep. Really uh, interesting. You got that spike on earnings and just yep. gave it up like right on the opening bell the day that they came out. And then Target, it's also, I mean, that blew away its highs. It's still up there. Target. They're going to, I continue to see like good 
fundamental marketing on their part and everything yeah. in terms of uh, I was there for Black Friday, I'm trying to think. I believe I was. Okay. I was. And then you spend fifty dollars on Black Friday, you get a twenty percent off coupon for any any receipt. So not like one item, right? You can go in there and do all your Christmas shopping from December like fourth after Black Friday okay. onward for like two weeks and you save twenty percent on your entire purchase if you just spent fifty dollars really? on Black Friday. Yeah. What a coupon, right? Um, wow. And and so that's another way. Whoever did that coupon is smart. That's, amazing. That's I, we happened to fall into it. I didn't even know what was going on, and we got the coupon. And then I saw a, uh, an ad for the coupon later in the day, Aaron. Now, yesterday, they just had 10% off all. Listen to me, this is quite an advertisement, but it's impressive. And you see when they're battling, they stick in my mind. 10% off all gift cards, yesterday only. Another great deal, right? You bring people in on Sunday. Everybody yeah. buys some form of gift cards usually at, during Christmas time. Right. I happen to miss it, but I was like, you know what? That's another great deal, and right. and and they're really coming up with some creative stuff to to separate a little, you know, right? Especially Target, because you know what Target like even I'd say younger people they have friends that like to give them a ten dollar gift card. I yeah, totally I, agree. I, you know, that's, that, that's why I played that, into it. I was like, that's really smart because yeah. a lot of people would be like, oh, right. and we actually said, you know, we're like, oh, we missed that. You know, like that's something yeah. if you were doing. And you shop for anybody during sure, Christmas. Right. You even go do it for yourself. Oh. Think about you know gift cards. You go buy a gift card and then you spend the gift card. There was all this oh. potential there. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So uh, now Google, you know, we got the two founders. They're backing down, but bottom line, not Google. Google is going to the moon, man. It's, yeah. It's, it's got to be nice to be uh, Sergey and Larry too. You step down and you have all the shares, and then and you just become wealthier and wealthier as you step away to the twilight. I say twilight jokingly. How old are they? Right in their forties, oh, yeah. maybe right. if that. Um, yeah, but Google. Thirteen fifty-three. That's that's quite a number, man. So market cap wise, let's see what we're looking at here. Oh, the, yeah. They, they must be saying, "What's wrong with us? Why aren't we a trillion-dollar company?" I would agree. There's been quite the separation, man. Whether it's uh, yeah, Google. You had Apple, you had Microsoft, yeah. and you had Amazon. And Google's right at a, a trillion, let's almost say a billion. You got Microsoft and Apple kind of far above that level, and you have Amazon back down to like 877 billion, I think. And that's quite a substantial separation when it you is. have Microsoft now at 1.2, Amazon at 870 something, I believe. Right. And that's 1.5 times the size of the company when, when they were just neck and neck going for that 1 trillion mark, probably about a year ago or so forth, yeah. Now a trillion, folks. A couple of years from now, we're gonna have a bunch of them at uh, a trillion. We're at 1.2 already. When's two trillion? I, you know, that's big numbers. You better get your children into a good math class. Oh man, <laughs> they're gonna need those zeros. Microsoft and Apple. That's the yeah. two of them. Dow, Dow down, down 16. Nasdaq's up 16. S&P's up three. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors.
Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 36. NASDAQ is up 10. S&Ps are up 10. And when we go take a look at the Federal Reserve and the repo market. Uh, Another story. It keeps popping up. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Fed's repo action for year and crunch oversubscribed again. Okay. So let's see. Market participants uh, submitted 42 billion. 43, I think, right? Yeah, 43 for... 28 days. Oh, look, at there's more than 25 yeah, billion. Okay, right. so we're going to see the, the, the Fed's going to have to come up and with the, more money. And the, this was the last of three term operations right. currently scheduled to provide funding past the year-end yeah. period. Yeah. Um, scrutiny is only set to intensify as December unfolds. Key, several key dates in focus. Year-end will, of course, be front and center, but so will December 16th when the market faces potential pressures from Treasury settlements and corporate tax payments. Traders will that. also be on watch for any announcements to the central And that's what happened right. when we went up last time, folks. That's exactly <clears throat> what it was. It was the quarter end, corporate tax payments. You had short-term rates shoot over 10%. 10%? Yeah. Okay? Oh, 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 this is We're talking overnight. <laughs> um, yeah, they've been injecting liquidity into the repo market since September 17th when the overnight rate for general collateral spiked to 10% or from around 2%. Uh, it's also been buying T-bills to add re reserves to the system. Yeah. Now, what's going to be wild here, December 16th is also, I believe, the day that uh, we, we get to get the election. What day is the election? I believe it's Thursday the 12th. The 12th. Oh, okay. And 16th, a week from today. And the 15th, of course, six days from now, the end of the tariff deadline that we may probably oh. hear something by oh, that Sunday. Yeah. But well, yeah, this is we get we get some action this week here. Yeah. And interesting here, yeah, they just they just raised it from it was initially 15 billion the central bank was going to be, and they just uh, increased it last week to 25. They come in with 43 um, billion dollars in in not enough subscriptions for that. Not enough at all. Well, we'll see that 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 this location is not a good is not a good deal, folks. So I yeah, suspect and that's what somebody you know an analyst said in there. You know, it's not the end of the world, or you know, I'm surmising. But they said if this is still so oversubscribed when you're coming into like Christmas and right. you're going to have the end of the year, that that could be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think, I mean, unless you're highly involved inside of all their financials, you don't know exactly what the problem is. But there's a problem if you go from 2% yes. to 10% overnight. Yeah. That means people don't have any money. Right. Right. And kind of what the question was is that why are participants with money, with capital, above where the legal reserves have to be coming right. into that market to take basically free money? Right. Right. I mean, yes. you're getting an overnight repo if it's free. But is it free? Why aren't the banks putting up that capital? Right. Uh, maybe they see something that they say that's not worth that percentage to put that money at risk in a supposedly very quick overnight market that yeah. might not turn into it. Right. Supposedly. Right? Exactly. Exactly. That's that's where risk, folks, you have to pay attention to it because. Yeah. Those picture this. You can make the case that the banks might be some of the best risk compliance. Oh, yeah. And they won't do it. Yeah, especially knowing that market. Right. Having the people yes. who might have a handle on the repo market, yeah. how safe it actually is, what probabilities you should be pricing in for risk into it, because they're in the business of making money by collecting interest rate, you know, 
differentials. Um, income, sure. right. Yeah. So right. if that market was as secure as it's supposed to be, and you have the capital on hand, right. and the market spikes to 10%, the market would normally pull that back down by those market participants coming in and taking that, you know, yeah. interest rate above where the cost of goods, you know, for yourself is. But they don't, so pay attention. Yeah. Oil. So uh, you got oil right now. We're at 58.92. And, you know, if you stay over this... Uh, 58.74, okay. you know, you can go for that high. Quite a little downward action. Can you go IGPO yeah. just um, because we were right at 59. We're right back um, up there at almost 59. And, of course, Friday, huge action with the Saudis cutting back additional yes. numbers that they thought. But even this morning, you know, you really, early 2 a.m., you're up there at 59. You drift all the way back down right at 9 a.m. on the dot. You get some volume. You trade from 58.23 up right back above that level. Um Lots of action, man. We'll get EIA on Wednesday, of course. See where that trades out. Let's take a look at, so the XLE still is not moving, you know. This is going to be frustrating for basically people that, are, you know, are looking at the oil market and, you know, uh, the, the equities just haven't moved. And I believe this goes back to 2006, which is just a mind blower. But, yeah. you know, it's really hard to comprehend sometimes. So. It is. Yeah, that's 2005. Oh, my God. Yep. 2005, 2006 levels. Yeah. No. And it's Especially when, I mean, if you take it, look at what I was just going to say, you know, where you collapsed in 2008 to $38. Yeah. I think the S&P collapsed to a level of... Well, that's $38. Yeah, $38. XLE, that's right, $38, yep. And just the, the S&P was down to like six sixty five. dollars S&P's yes. at 3100 right? So even from the low, if you bought it, 38 you're sitting at 58 over the course of 11 years, and in that time, the S&P is up 500%, yeah. and you're barely up uh, 33%. Who would ever, would ever think in the right. oil market? Right, that's it, yeah. Because we're talking, you're talking ExxonMobil and Chevron, folks, which are two of the largest it, equities in the world. If the value, the market cap value of the S&P, you said it was going to go up like between 400 and 500%, right? right? What would you say the XLE might do during that time? And, totally. Yeah, not go up, you know, 20, 30%. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're talking, you know, just monster oil companies, and you can see why the Saudis wanted to push that out. Yes, the bottom line is that you stop putting these together, and uh, hey, that'd be like Zuckerberg saying, you know what, I want to diversify myself a little bit and sell out some some of my equity stake in Facebook. Right. The really? market. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen up when exactly. someone an insider like that that controls everything would do that. Actually, let's go to Facebook because. I heard um, they had an interview over the weekend uh, with uh, Sheryl Sandberg. Uh, okay. She's a CFO, I think. Might be COO. COO, yeah, Chief Operating. Chief Operating Officer, okay. And, um, man, it, she's talented. There's no doubt about that, meaning in the speech context. Though, yeah. Um, she's got to be. She's in that, been in that role for a while. Oh, yeah. And she's had a huge role in terms of oh, yeah. the literal operations as a key right. member in terms of what they do over there. Right. And, you know, they were getting into the news aspects, what's fake, what's not fake, how do they deal with it. Um, you know, bottom line is that the interviewer kept coming into the, the aspect, well, the, the clients all opt in, so you, you have no cost of... Yeah, content, right? Yeah. Um, it was just intriguing. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Saying, yeah. oh, no, we protect everything. You know what I mean? It's like, okay. But it's, you know, it was it was an hour-long interview, so it's oh, yeah. interesting. That, she's been out there, and yeah. she does a good job of it for Facebook in terms of she's the front line ahead yeah. of Zuckerberg usually because she's, um, she's people, she's someone that, you know, Congress had wanted to get in front for a while anyway because she's so high up there in terms of almost right. probably almost second in command to Zuckerberg in terms of what goes on there. Totally. Now, look at that. This is exponential, man. 2015, folks, Facebook took in $17.9 billion. Yeah. 2019, 70.5. 350% growth <sighs> over four years. I think she said... Coming from a number of $18 billion, which I is think staggering. it's either $2.3 billion or $3.2 billion people log on every month. I think it's the three number. Yeah. <laughs> that is something else. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now, that's trying to claw its way uh, into the uh, uh, green. Uh, bottom line is that we're still in the red by 33. NASDAQ is up 10, S&P is up by one and a half. We'll come right back.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during our trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 31. Dow is up 11. S&Ps are up 1.5. Don't forget, folks, we kicked off the Tiger Double Sale today at TFNN. You can all uh, go over there and also check out uh, Tommy's market, uh, morning market uh, recap. Uh, bottom line, well, it's not the recap in the morning. It's, it's uh, the report. It's the report in the morning. You got yeah, it. It's the recap in the afternoon. And then you just show me New Zealand. That's quite a... Uh, Man, they have a um, volcano eruption over there. First yeah. time since 2001. Some pretty dramatic... Videos of that, and, and I'm not sure if people were near it or whatnot. But I know people. It's a tourist location, um, or just a recreational location, probably in terms of the beauty. Yeah. So hopefully, not too many people in that path. But pretty remarkable video. Anytime. Seriously. Mother Nature. Oh, Mother um, Nature. And if you've ever seen Pompeii, problem. folks, okay, Pompeii is something else. Yeah, I know you've been there. Yeah. yeah. And Pompeii is that they're still digging that out. Uh, it's just it's hard to comprehend that. Yeah. You know, that city preserved by that kind of flash volcano, right? Exactly. Everything just preserved exactly. in its state. You know, the, remarkable. Yeah, to see history including like that. some people. Yeah, including many, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, let alone right. a civilization. You know, they have a stat in the den. I just want to bring up. Thanks to Jay talking about forty-one billion dollars of unclaimed gift cards yes. since two thousand five. One of the analysts talking about. Uh, I wonder what retailers in particular get to. You know, and it's going to be the biggest of the big, right? I mean, right. It, plus a lot of others though that you know maybe the others don't get used as often because. I wonder how many people use to Target. You're there every day versus if you get an obscure gift card. That's that right. You don't make it to. Yeah. And just so you know, folks, they don't have any, and they cannot have any expiration dates anymore. 
So that's a big deal. It is. You they know, might you, get you, you with fees on you, a yearly you, basis you, to maintain, like a 2 or 3% oh, fee. Right. That's yeah, what they yeah. do, which okay. they have to keep up those records, yeah. you know, if you go 30 years. But Tiger Dollars, no fees on the year. They never expire. Check those out, for sure. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. You can think of some coming up next. I'm going to get on, man. Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Bam! Go get him, folks.